We're lucky on this big project we're doing at the moment, which is a, replacing a whole pinnacle and the buttress underneath it. And on the corners of those pinnacles were four very badly eroded carvings. We could see there was one grotesque figure that was very much some kind of animal. So Dave Willits has carved that as a dragon holding a goose in its mouth. The other three were figurative. And we thought that the first two, the front two figures were female, the one at the back was definitely male. And that gave us a starting point to come up with a narrative and an idea for doing something that would tie all three of those figures together. So we settled on the story of the Judgment of Solomon, where the king had to decide between two women, who, which of the women was the genuine mother of a baby. And the biblical story was he, he said to them both, well, we'll cut the baby in half and you can have half each, that's the fairest way. At which point one of the women said, no, nope, no, nope, the other woman can have the baby. And at that point he decided, well, she must be the true mother. So she got to keep the baby, and that was how the judgment was made. The carving I did was one of the two women on the front of the pinnacle, and she's, she's the bad character in the story, as it were. She's not the true mother, and she's trying to seduce King Solomon to make a judgment in her favour. So she's wearing her night dress or a, sh a shift, the medieval equivalent of a nightdress. She's got all of her fine jewellery on and she's quite buxom and she's basically trying to seduce the king into making judgment in her favour. And the opposite figure is the genuine mother and she's clutching her rosary beads and looking very anxious and very worried about whether the judgment's going to go in her favour or not. So we try to tell a little bit of a story and inject some character and exaggerated features and have a little bit of pathos and emotion into the three carvings with the, with the three figures telling the story of King Solomon's judgment.